All right, so I saw this video circulating on X and I wanted to come on here and do commentary because a lot of people were using this as an example for why you do not let your children choose their own gender. Take a look at the video. Either have $10,000 cash or, wait a minute, this two out of the box Oreo cookies. Huh? Are you sure? Yes. That's $10,000 cash. Mm. You want the Oreo cookies? Are you sure? Yes. Okay. So you see, he keeps asking the boy, are you sure that's what you want to do? The boy is like, yes, I, I want the cookies. And I'm not making this video to make fun of this young boy. He looks to be maybe three, four years old. And most children around his age would probably make the same decision. They're going to say, yeah, I want to go for the cookies. It's that thought process of immediate gratification. And he's a child. So I want to offer you three different examples of thinking. Okay. Child level thinking is immediately going for the cookies. Intermediate level thinking is immediately going for the $10,000. And advanced thinking is, wait a minute, I'm going to pause. I'm going to make sure I'm asking the right questions. What are these cookies made of? What's inside of the cookies? Is there gold inside? Are there diamonds inside? And you're asking other significant questions to make sure you are properly weighing your decision. Okay, most people are not in the advanced category. That's not to make fun of most people, right? It's just kind of um, the conditioning of our society to not ask questions as we saw with the case of Big V. As with anything in life, it's important to make sure you're asking the right questions and you're doing the proper research before making big decisions. And children just don't have the mental acuity to make sure that they are asking the proper questions and doing the proper research and thinking through things thoroughly before going through something as important and dramatic as gender reassignment. Children are more so, as we see with this video, it's a perfect example, right? They're more so in the process of having that immediate gratification. He's like, I'm not thinking about, I only get two cookies. I'm not thinking cookies may not exactly be healthy. They're full of sugar. Children are more present than adults. They're thinking about how Whatever I do will make me feel right now in the moment. And one of the big questions that a lot of people have been asking, what happens to children after they have these gender reassignment procedures? They're going to go through a lot of drastic changes physically, mentally, emotionally. Their hormones are going crazy. They're not talking about what that does to a person's central nervous system and how that negatively affects your mental state. A lot of these things that happen are irreversible, which is the point because you are saying, I am sure I no longer want to be that gender. So therefore I am going to go and be this other gender. And when we're thinking about people making permanent decisions, you think about something even in college, which is not so much a permanent decision, but you have teenagers who are entering college and they're chose, hey, you need to choose what you want to do for the rest of your life. A lot of people don't know that. That's why you see people going through all of these career transitions when they're mid 20s to mid 30s and, and some people maybe even older because they were never sure to begin with. So you're asking somebody, you think they have the mental acuity at 18 to make a decision to choose what they want to do for the rest of their lives. Some people may know, but a lot of people don't because it may change or they're just uncertain. Let me know what you think about this video. Again, I thought the boy was cute. I'm not trying to make fun of him, but I think that this is a perfect example that children are not equipped mentally to choose their own gender and and when we're thinking about it there are a lot of adults who are making permanent decisions and they are not sure 
And one of the big questions that are that is not being asked is what happens when a person changes their mind? People don't talk about that. But anyway, that is for a completely different video. And I want to thank you so much for watching. And until the next video, take care. God bless you. And I hope to see you in the next one.